anytime you start new, it's a challenge. And, and you, it, even if it's the same place for 20 years, it's new um, because you have new players. It's a different team. Uh, so it would have been new at Sam Houston State, but it's new in a different location, now trying to mesh our personalities with theirs. And um, uh, the one thing I've noticed from this group is seem to have a very good desire to win and uh, have been really receptive to, to coaching. Um, so I've just been very pleased with the transition. The transition sometimes can get clogged um, and delayed, and I'm pretty impatient with that. And so I want to put our stamp on them as quick as possible. So our goal is always to try to build the trust as quick as we can, and so then they allow us to coach them. One thing that happened is we play a lot of inter-squad games in the fall, and so you really dilute your lineup, and, and so it's sometimes hard to measure, and that's where the Rice and the UNO really come into play because you can see how your team does against outside competition, uh, and it really breaks the monotony of fall ball. Uh, but what I've really noticed is that we have some good quality arms. Uh, we have some guys with stuff, um, but struggle a little with command. We have guys with command that don't have as much stuff. What I'd like to see us do is maybe really improve our out pitch, whatever that pitch is, if it's the fastball, the changeup, or the breaking ball. Um, but as far as a nucleus of a pitching staff, I believe we have six guys that have pretty good experience here last year. We pick up a couple of JC arms that are going to help us, and Patrick Dooster and Eric Still. Uh, with our position players, defensively, we're very sound. We're not quite as fast as I would like us to be, but we're very sound and we're understanding first step. Um, and we have guys right now that have a, lot of, have a lot of experience playing Division I baseball, uh, and they're still young. So we're going to try to take that experience um, and, and just give them the opportunity to go out there and play. First of all, there's no way I would bring any coach, especially three coaches, if it if I didn't have the trust in them. And I think that's the key to trust. The key to coaching is the trust factor with players, the trust factor with assistant coaches. Um, to me, they're extensions of my family. They've been with me for three years. Um, Phil Hague, 25 years old, and is growing every day in his job. He he receives more and more. Um, uh, responsibilities because he's he's becoming a very good pitching coach at the Division One level at a very young age. Um, Philip Miller is just I mean, both these guys are are really like sons to me, and and uh, uh, they give me everything they have. Philip Miller is uh, the ultimate worker that has such a, a diversity to help a program. I mean, if it's on the field throwing batting practice, hitting fungo, a great knowledge and work ethic with catchers and outfielders. Uh, but not only that, he has such an ability to do things in the office that makes things have such an easy transition. Uh, Sean played for me uh, back in Houston, and I recall his last out as a player, he stepped on first base and tore his ACL, and I was coaching first base. And so he's always been really close to my heart. But he has truly become a great coach. Uh, he has a baseball IQ really second to none at a young age of 35. Uh, so I, I think what you see is you see some different personalities that understand our common goal. Now one thing I'll tell kids is first of all, you want to be in an environment where you're going to grow. And I'll ask players, what's your intent? What do you want from college? What do you want from being a student athlete? And I want to hear the right things. I want to hear a guy say, I want to be a part of something bigger than me and I want to win. And when I hear win, that means that they have some desire other than just participating. I want to hear a guy say that the degree is important to me because they understand that um, their intent, hopefully, they all have aspirations to play beyond college. So you combine win, 
a great degree uh, and having a, a, a chance to get drafted and continue playing. Uh, but I really, I tell players, so you're going to fail. You're going to have adversity. The key is, is how you adapt to that. And the key to that is, we're going to give you the support that you need. And we're going to give you the opportunity to jump back in there and play and do what you can do. And you got to understand, players develop at different times. Uh, I've had very few guys that were 100% ready as an incoming freshman. So I'm very patient with players more so than probably adults. Uh, because I understand that they're still in a, in a process of growing and, and trying to reach their full potential. Kids are going to see a brand that they're going to have fun at the ballpark. And I know in our marketing department we're going to change some things to improve that aspect as well. But I just think the fans are going to appreciate the effort on the field and uh, hopefully understand what we're trying to do with individual players. Um, but I don't think you're ever going to see an inconsistent approach or you're going to ever see players not giving it their all.